what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, beautiful souls? I said, well, let me do a reading. I'm home today. Took the day off. Does I have a real bad cold? A real bad sinus infection? Story of my life. Couldn't catch a ride. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming. Story of my life. Couldn't catch a ride. Running, running, running. That doesn't make sense. Story of my life. Couldn't catch a ride. Right? What's your story this morning? You choose to be happy or you choose to be sad? I choose to be happy even though I'm not feeling well. I said, it's okay, this is not gonna work. Have I been to work? If I was sick, yeah, I've been to work, working sick, but I said, not today. I'm calling off, girl. If I have a nice boss, and I told her I was sick, I said, I could get a doctor's letter. She goes, no, you don't need to get a doctor's letter. I don't, you don't need to get a doctor's letter. She said, I need you to take the whole week off because you sound awful. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I'm taking the whole week off, actually. It's all good. Peace. It's all peaceful. You know, peace. It's so important to have peace in your life, you know? When you have peace, you have this calmness, right? But, but where does peacefulness come from? Does it come from others? It comes from yourself. Even if you're around with people that are not peaceful, you know how to get away from their energy and not be around their energy and be peace within yourself, away from people that are toxic. Being peacefulness within, its, within yourself is an art within itself. It's not easy to have a peaceful mind. When you have peace, I got to tell you, and you might think this is stupid, but no. If you have peace, you're the most, most richest person in this world. Because peacefulness is just being calm, balanced. You know, whatever, what happens if the building falls down? If a storm comes, you know, you know your creator got you. You know that. Yeah, you'll pray about it, but you'll know. You're not going to panic like others and, oh, my gosh, you know. You're going to say, God, you got this. You got me. You know what I'm trying to say? Jelly beans? Yeah. Being peace, peace, having peace in your life. It's a gift by God, though. Not everybody is peaceful, you know. No, and not everybody is peaceful. Not at all. It's hard. But if you're have peaceful in your heart, and you've reached that point, congratulations, that's what I say. Let's see what's next. Oh, trust. Wow, trust. Trust. Do you trust yourself? Do you? How much do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself enough to walk away with somebody that you don't deserve? Do you trust yourself to take care of you? Do you trust people around you, you know? Do you trust your creator, do you? Do you know what, any, no matter what happens, do you think, do you trust your creator to know he's gonna be there for you? Mm hmm do you know that? Do you feel that? Trust is another art. You can't just trust easily. Trust. You can't trust people. You can't trust people just like that because they might have a pretty smile or a good-looking face. No. Trust is earned, people. Trust is earned, you know? Sometimes people could be smiling your face and could be... Demons in the background, you know? You know what I mean? You know, the, the other day I had a cab driver pick me up, and I've seen this guy maybe 
Like, I, I know a lot of cab drivers because I take the cab not all the time, but when I take it is if it's raining or if I don't feel like taking the bus, I'll take the cab. So I haven't seen this dude, and he's a dude. And um, he's, like, acting weird. And I haven't seen him for six months. And not like I give a shit, but he's, when I got in the cab, he goes, you know I know you, you know? I'm like, uh-huh. Okay. I think I picked you up six months ago. I said, okay. Uh, do you want to be friends? Here's my number. I was like... Uh, I took his number and I just put it in my bag because he says he does, um, he takes people to Girdwood and other places in Alaska. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I said, uh, that's cool. Um, he just kept on saying, well, take my number, take my number, take my number. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. You know, it's just like, dude, I don't really want your number. He's like, oh, we can be friends. How do you be friends? And it's not like I want to judge him because he's a taxi driver. No, I know a lot of nice taxi guys, you know, but he was coming out too strong. And I'm not looking for a fucking person. Like, a, I can tell he was hitting on me indirectly. And I was just like, no, no, you're not. I don't think so. I was like, no. He was nice, but No. I'm not here to um, look for anybody, but let's talk. I'm talking about trust. Do I trust him? Do I know him? No, I'm not gonna go out with somebody I don't know. Hell no. And first of all, I'm not interested either. So trust, do you trust somebody like that? You don't know. You don't know what their intentions are, you know, especially when they come out too strong, you know? No, just say no, too, too pushy, you know? and. Trust is earned, people, earn. And he lost my trust in the first sentence, what he said. Oh, no, again. Oh, do you need my money? Uh, take my number. Take my number. Take my number. Like, dude, I don't want your number. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Damn it. Discipline. I'm going to have to make this quick because I'm about to cough. Discipline. You got to discipline yourself, right? Discipline is so important in children. You know, you got to discipline. Oh, my God. Kids got to be disciplined. Because if they're not, they'll walk all over you. Yeah, pride. Here's another important card. Pride. A lot of people have pride and ego in them, right? But it says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay, but a lot of people have the other bigger pride, like the ego. I'm thinking about ego. When you have ego, that's when you start losing people. Put your ego on the side and be you. Be you. If you like somebody, you tell them. You don't have a big ego and say, yeah, she's on my shit. He's on my shit or she's on my shit, you know? No. Be humble about it. And if you don't like them, tell them in a nice way. I'm not interested, you know? Yeah. And I did tell that uh, cab driver when I left the car, his car, I'm like, thank you for the ride to the store. Uh, but I'm not really, I'm not really interested in going any, anywhere with you on rides. I am not interested, but thank you. And then I left. Because I don't want to lead anybody on, you know. I mean, he took the number because he kept on asking me, you know. I was like, I took it, but nope. And maybe he meant it in a good way. But you know what? I'm not a type to trust anybody just because they're going to give me this sweet little line. Uh -uh. Hell no. Hell no, I said. Like. Whatever. Whatever. But yeah. Whatever, I said. Whatever, Jesus. But yeah. I miss my other cab driver. He's like in his 60s and he's so cool. I think he's from the Philippines and he's just not he. He's like a father figure. Always, he's just out of town. And, you know, I do have one cab driver. I don't like to use a lot of cab drivers when I do go out. I just like one cab driver because I, I trust him because he's cool. He's earned his trust. Anytime I call him, he's there on time. Anytime I need him for a ride, of course, you know, he's there, you know, and he's always on time. And 
even if I, I can even book like a schedule ride for him. Like if I need to go somewhere tomorrow and I know it's far away and bus doesn't get there, I'll call him and say, hey, Mr. Pruna, his name is Pruna. I said, Mr. Pruna, I need a ride over there tomorrow. How much it's going to be? He's like, all right. So he makes me good deals and he's cool because he knows that I'll call him first. He's earned my trust because I trust him as a friend with my cabbie. Look for a sign. Angel says, look for a sign. There's a sign that you're not looking at. Why are you looking at improving health? I hope so. That's what I need. That's why I'm going to drink this for maybe three days. Three days, motherfucker. Oops, sorry. Three days. Ugh. I'm, hot. I'm not hungry, but I want to eat some. Oh, I want to eat some grits with some butter. <laughs> Jesus says, hell no, girl. Remain positive. Remain positive, guys. Like, it's not the end of the world that I can't go to Paris, you know? It's okay, because I'm probably going to go, but not on my birthday. I got to work on my birthday, bitches! Cha-ching! I like trains. Choose a new direction. You might have to want to choose a new direction. There's a new direction for you. Big happy changes, people! Opportunities! Well, I'm going to end it right here. You know it. You know it! Big opportunities are coming in for you. For you. And don't you forget.